Welcome back, my name is Fernando Herrera and it is Mobile Ban Wednesday. So every Wednesday in this channel, I'm posting about how to start your mobile tire shop from scratch. Now for the past few months, we've actually been posting every Wednesday and we're finally in part 7 of the series. However, if you have not seen the other six videos, let me just briefly explain what we've talked about so far. We've talked about how to create a plan for your mobile tire shop. We've talked about how to actually build a mobile tire shop with the cost and what parts you need. I've also given you some tips on how to run a smooth operation for your mobile shop. And I've also given you some tips on how to get large customers like Hertz, Nissan, and all these big customers that will make your business go to the next level. And last week, I talked about how to hire tire techs, which are a very important element to your mobile tire shop business, especially if you want to make it more of a supervising position rather than you doing all the work. Today, we're going to be talking about tire suppliers or tire vendors, because this was actually one of the most requested questions I keep getting either via email or via Instagram. And I guess I'm going to be talking about how to get tire suppliers what you need and who are they. Picking the right tire supplier is very important because it could actually make you money or cost you money. Think about it. If your competitor over there is getting this exact same tire for $10, $15 less than what you are getting it for, then you, my friend, are gonna have to push either through marketing or advertising or customer service and you know you're gonna be at a disadvantage so picking the right tire vendor is very important and that's hopefully what we're gonna be learning in this video but before we do begin I do want to ask you please don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that YouTube knows you're enjoying this video and can recommend this video to others and also don't forget to subscribe I mean I do have three more videos coming up to finalize this series and so if you want to stay tuned and find out what these videos are about uh, I would encourage you to subscribe again I'm gonna be posting the mobile tire shop series every Wednesday until the next three videos are complete or until the series is complete also I do have an Instagram page I'm starting to post a little bit more in there but I do answer all of my messages through Instagram and I answer all of my comments so again if you have any questions throughout the process feel free to comment or follow me on Instagram and feel free to message me or shoot me a message Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So what will tire suppliers help you do? It's pretty much three things that you want to keep in mind of the benefits that a tire supplier should help you do. Number one is pretty obvious, right? It's tire supply. Access to hundreds of thousands of tires across the nation and locally. The second thing that a lot of people don't think about is cash flow. Again, think about it. If you only have $100 in your bank account, but your tire supplier allows you to get maybe $2,000 worth of tires, that you got already a customer paying you today and you have to pay that vendor within 30 days then now my friend you got some cash flow because you don't need to ask for a loan maybe if you were going to ask for a loan for the rent or for the utilities or for this you got yourself a little bit of a loan from the tire supplier which is free of interest and it's very beneficial and i guess it's just it works very well be aware though you don't want to be going crazy on that because you could actually end up hurting your business more if you don't manage your cash flows appropriately. And the last thing I do think tire suppliers do a great job in helping a business like a mobile tire shop is a training on products and, you know, just information on programs or manufacturers, supplies, like just programs in general. So, for example, Goodyear. Um, I'm part of the Goodyear G3X program, which is a program that pays you I guess on top of what you are selling so if i buy you know 500 tires of goodyear within a year i get back two dollars per tire so again 500 times two that's already a thousand dollars these are not the official numbers you know i'm not saying that's what i do get but the goodyear program and we participate in other programs have been proven to actually allow us to be even more competitive with national brands such as discount tire or the walmarts or you know eventually bigger mobile tire shop franchises as well. Now, to start a tire distributor account, um, you simply reach out to one of the companies that I'll have, uh, or I'll mention in just a few moments, but you'll just reach out to them. You'll say you wanna create an account and almost all of them will ask you for these three things. They will ask for your business license, so making sure that you do have a business. So unfortunately, you cannot get just or create an account based off you know your personal name. You could open a sole proprietorship and that's different, but you do need some sort of business entity. 
You also do need a state tax ID. So again, in the state of Nevada, you just, you know, get that through the Nevada tax department, which, you know, you just go and apply for one. They give you a state tax ID. And this is important because this is the ID that they're going to be using in the resale certificate, which is the third thing you need. You need a signed resale certificate. The resale certificate just sounds fancy and oh my God, do I have to do No, 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 no. You just get it on Google. You type Nevada or your state resale certificate and you will just go ahead and fill in your state tax ID and you will put the items you will be buying from this person and then you just sign it. That's it. You could get a resale certificate for free and in less than two minutes, you could have it ready. Keep in mind that the resale certificate is an official document that's stating that all that you buy from this supplier is going to be tax exempt and thus you are responsible for the sales tax. So don't be doing people favors unless you're willing to be paying, uh, unless you're willing to pay for the sales tax. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, there is a fourth benefit or thing that you want to look out for, and this is optional. But if you are applying for finance or credit, um, you know, they might ask you some tire distributors might check your credit. They might ask for financial statements. They might ask for bank accounts, probably even tax returns if you have any. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the actual top dogs, the actual tire suppliers, the names of the companies you are going to be doing business with. Now, keep in mind that I am located in Las Vegas, Nevada, and while I do have heavy exposure throughout California, Arizona, and Utah, um, you know, there are some pretty big suppliers out in the East that I might not be very familiar with. So if you are in the East, I might be missing some of the larger tire suppliers over there. But the ones I'm going to be talking about for sure, these are nationwide. These are suppliers that for sure are in the both East, West, North, South. I mean, there's some of them are even in Canada. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about them. Number one is going to be American Tires Distributors. We also know it as ATD. These guys have over 500 distribution centers in the U.S. US and in Canada and I think by far they have the largest distribution center um, you know the just logistics in general so they will be able to put any sort of tire in any place in the US and possibly even Canada. The disadvantage of ATD is definitely a big one in some way. Um, three years ago Goodyear and Bridgestone decided to pull their brands from ATD because they looked ATD more as a competitor because ATD started launching their own brand and so that created ATD to have a disadvantage not being able to offer brands like Goodyear and Bridgestone, which, you know, they also have other brands such as Kelly, Dunlop and Firestone, which was a pretty big uh, blow to ATD. However, I do have to say ATD still offers great selection for great price and they still offer tons of brands including michelin continental pirelli so i mean you still have a lot to choose from the next warehouse we're going to be talking about is called tire hub tire hub is fairly a brand new warehouse they were just created around three years ago and guess what they were created or formed based off a partnership from goodyear and bridgestone so yes when they pulled out of atd they went together and said you know what we're going to create our own warehouse and they're coming in in number two because i think they they have plenty of warehouses now Customer service is pretty good, and they have tons of selection, especially in Goodyear, Bridgestone. Um, and not only do they almost uh, sell Goodyear and Bridgestone exclusively, and I say almost because there are some authorized warehouses out there to still sell Goodyear or Bridgestone in a wholesale level, but you know it's not big companies like TireHub. TireHub does offer some entry-level brands, and it's a great place to start, especially because they're a younger company. And, you know, they got a lot of things going on so that you might be able to get some good terms and, you know, maybe a good start if you're looking into buying or selling, um, you know, good years and bridge some lines. Next warehouse we're going to be talking about is called National Tires Warehouse, which is NTW. This warehouse is pretty big, actually. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I, I want to say that NTW is owned by TBC Group, which is a big, large tire supplier. These guys sell... These guys, to put it in perspective, TBC is the wholesaler for the wholesalers. So these guys are pretty big. And then TBC is owned by Sumitomo, in which Michelin owns a big part of. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of owning and a lot of things, but especially NTW is a place you want to go if you want to buy Michelin products or Sumitomo tires. So, you know, definitely NTW has, you know, great selection. They also have a lot of warehouses. Most likely they will have a warehouse near you. So, you know, that could be a good option. Next warehouse is going to be called TR Wholesale. 
The TR stands for Tire Rack. Now, if you've heard of TireRack.com, these guys started selling tires online and they've made a pretty good business model from selling tires online. Since they sell so much tires, they actually started their own tire wholesale business which is called TR Wholesale. TR Wholesale allows you to buy tires and they ship any tire from anywhere in the States to you, which is pretty good. Uh, the only disadvantage is that they do charge for shipping, so be sure to consider that shipping cost when you're selling that tire. Now, I do want to talk about other smaller tire suppliers that at least here in the West Coast, uh, they're very predominant and they're very strong. Uh, these are maybe not nationwide tire suppliers, but there's always mid tire wholesalers like these around your area. So just be sure to check them out or do some Google search. First one's going to be Tires Warehouse or also known as US Auto Force. They honestly offer an amazing selection. They have great logistics because they are able to get you a tire from anywhere, anywhere of their warehouses almost next day. And so, I mean, they, they, they do really well and their price is really competitive. I mean, I would say these, I, these guys are the most competitive out of all. Another tire warehouse that we do business with is Wholesale Tires Distributors, WTD. They also own retail shops in California. And we personally have a very strong relationship with them uh, because they hold the brands uh, Royal and Safiro. And we know them very well. We've been doing business with them for so long. But I know that they do have, uh, you know, container factory direct programs and all that. So definitely these are people you could buy container loads if you wanted to. This third company, it's called Tire Co. And I believe Tire Co. might be even a nationwide tire distributor. However, in Las Vegas, they don't have a lot of presence. So I didn't put them, you know, as a strong candidate for them, you know, as a powerful tire wholesaler because they just, I, I feel they're more focused towards California market. Now they do hold some very good brands such as Westlake and Milestar. So again, if you're looking for those specific brands, be sure to check them out. So those are all the suppliers I'm going to be talking about. I mean, keep in mind guys, there's probably thousands of tire suppliers out there, tire distributors in your local area. So for example, I'm even part owner of a wholesale distribution center, which is called North Tires Enterprises. And we service all the Las Vegas Valley and I mean, this is the main supplier for our tire mart shops and for a mobile tire shop van as well. So, you know, it's very easy to find these local tire suppliers around you. Now, I do want to explain that even though there is a lot of benefits of doing business with larger tire suppliers, there's also some benefits of doing businesses with the smaller local tire suppliers, which I'm going to be talking with you just now. Normally, tire suppliers can sign you up pretty quick. I mean, within the next day or pr probably the same day, you might be able to start buying tires like immediately. Larger tire suppliers might take a week or two weeks, depending on how fast their sales rep is and how backlogged their accounting uh, department is really. With smaller tire suppliers, you also will have a higher negotiating power. So again, it's not the same to go to a big na nationwide tire supplier and say, I demand a better price other than going to your local tire supplier and just saying, hey, I want a lower price because you know, the guy right there is probably the owner or probably the manager and he's gonna be able to just resolve or give you a solution right there and then. And finally, oftentimes smaller tire suppliers will be able to accommodate certain things that bigger nationwide suppliers won't. So for example, faster delivery. So if you call and say, hey, I really need this delivery like immediately or faster, can you do or can you help me? Uh, normally smaller suppliers will be able to accommodate you and oftentimes will be able to deliver tires in a much faster form or way than other tire suppliers that, you know, have to deliver to hundreds of customers. Keep in mind, even that with smaller uh, tire suppliers, you might even be able to get a better price than the big tire distributors because their overhead is just simply much lower than all these other warehouses. So they might be able to just lower the price or take a lower margin. Now, before we end this video, I do want to bring to your attention our third option. I know you might be saying, what, there's a third option, but yes, there's a third option that we personally do a lot and that's buying directly from factory. Now, yes, that is an option. So definitely being able to buy a tires from a Thailand factory, it's going to be much more affordable. However, you are going to be restricted to buying a container load which is going to require you to come up upfront with maybe 35 to $50,000 upfront cash that you probably will need to worry about where you're going to store all these tires, how fast are you going to be able to move these tires. And so again, I think that would be more of a next level once you possibly are thinking of starting your own 
local tire warehouse or just your warehouse in general. Now, I do want to point this out. There are a lot of scammers out there. So be very careful if you are looking into buying factory direct. I personally got scammed with $15,000 when some guy told me to deposit some money. We sent it over. Some months came by, passed by. Then, you know, he was a mutual friend with my father. But then later when we started calling him and looking for him, we saw that he was nowhere to be found. So we ended up losing $15,000 on that specific deal. However, obviously being able to buy, you know, we deal with five other companies as well. So those profits have been able to offset those losses in a good way. Now, if you do want to learn more about importing tires from, you know, any sort of country, feel free to comment below or send me a message through Instagram. Uh, definitely, you know, if there's a lot of interest, I might even do a video about that because, uh, you know, I definitely know how to do all that stuff and I've been through the processes of doing those, uh, those things. So, Definitely I want to help out anyone who may have some questions about that. But there you guys have it. That's all I have for this video. I have gone over who are the main tire suppliers, what they will ask for. And honestly, once you have your account set up and ready to go, you are going to be able to order tires through their website, through the phone or through, the, through their sales rep. If you did enjoy this video, please help me by smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that others can find my videos. Also consider subscribing. Like I said, there's three more videos we got left to finalize this series and i do appreciate you for staying till the end thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace